Chemical effects of electric current. Chemical effect of electric current. Have you seen dry cell batteries used in torches, remotes and clocks? This is the internal structure of dry cell. Each dry cell has two terminals. One is positive and other is negative terminal. These terminals are called two electrodes of the cell. Between these two electrodes lies a carbon rod surrounded by some chemicals which provides the chemical energy to the cell. The chemical reactions taking place at the two electrodes produce electricity on connecting a circuit between them. In a dry cell, chemical reactions produce electricity. In other words, a battery converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Is it possible to convert electrical energy to chemical energy? Let's find out by performing a small activity. Consider a glass tumbler with a plastic cover which has two small holes in it. Now put two carbon rods in the holes. Complete the circuit with the help of key, battery, LED, a substance that is capable of conducting electricity in liquid form is called an electrolyte. So dip the carbon rods in an electrolyte that is salt water and connect the key. The conducting carbon rods connected to the battery and immersed in the electrolyte are called electrodes. The electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery is called cathode, whereas the electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery is called anode. When we complete the circuit, electric current flowing through a liquid induces a chemical reaction in it. The oxygen bubbles are formed on the electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery, that is, anode. The hydrogen bubbles are formed on the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery, that is, cathode. When electric current passes through an electrolyte, a chemical reaction takes place at the two electrodes in the solution. This process is called Electrolysis. The resulting effects of electrolysis are called chemical effects of electric current. Electroplating. Have you heard corrosion? Corrosion is a slow process of decay or destruction of metal due to the effect of air, moisture, and acids. Preventing corrosion can save money and accidents. In order to prevent corrosion, electroplating is used. Electroplating is a process of coating a metal by another metallic material in an electrochemical bath by using the process of electrolysis. Electroplating makes the surface of various objects clean, smooth and shiny. Let's see the process of electroplating in detail. Consider the copper sulfate solution which undergoes electrolysis. When electric current is passed through the copper sulfate solution, copper sulfate dissociates into copper and sulfate. In this process, the object to be electroplated is connected to the negative terminal of the current source. The positive terminal is connected to the pure metal. So, brass key acts as a cathode, while copper plate acts as anode. The free copper gets drawn to the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery and gets deposited on it. 
an equal amount of copper gets dissolved in the solution at the anode by which loss of copper is restored and process continues electroplating is a very useful process some examples are as follows gold plated jewelry chromium plated car parts zinc coated iron objects silver coins tin coated cold drink cans let us summarize what we have learned each dry cell has two terminals one is positive and other is negative terminal chemical reactions taking place at the two electrodes produce electricity a battery converts chemical energy into electrical energy the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery is called cathode the electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery is called anode when electric current passes through an electrolyte a chemical reaction takes place at the two electrodes in the solution this process is called electrolysis the process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called electroplating